Hey guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to rip your Xbox 360 games to ISO files so they can be used in Xenia. Um, I'm essentially just going to be following this written tutorial that's on r slash Xenia. In this video, I have it up on the screen now, but um, I just wanted to show it in a video format just because I know that's easier for some people. You know, if this helps even one person, I will have done my job. All right, so let's jump right into it. So the first thing you're going to need is a Xbox 360 console. It doesn't have to be JTAGged or RGH'd or whatever. It can be a stock console. Uh, some sort of used uh, storage device and a program called God2 Do, God Do ISO, which I will link in the description. Also this guide. Uh, you don't necessarily need WXPERS. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't. I can't even get this to work. Um, uh, it will probably make your life easier, but I just did this whole thing successfully without it, so I don't know. All right, so once you have your console and your USB drive and got to ISO downloaded, the first thing you're going to do is, is you're going to go to this PC. Sorry, it popped up in the other monitor. You're going to go down here, and you're going to have to plug into the drive, and I already have it formatted but I'm just going to format it again just so you can see it. So you're going to click Format. Uh, you don't need a special program, you just right click in it and click Format. Uh, make sure it's FAT32, uh, whatever allocation unit size. I was using 16, that seems to work fine. Obviously, the capacity of the drive, and you can name it whatever. And just format it. Alright, so now that that's done, you're done on the PC for now and let's go over to the Xbox and I'll show you what to do. Alright so once you're over at your Xbox uh, you're gonna take your game that you're gonna be ripping. I got Halo 3 ODST here uh, and you're gonna stick it in there close it pretty standard and you're gonna let it and then here's the Xbox you're gonna let it read the disk um, while it's doing that you can plug in your flash drive and um, and uh, just as a just to make sure you go to you can go to system storage and USB storage device that's the flash drive it's there good uh, if you have a hard drive in your Xbox and that'll be there and I just want to add if you really have the game installed to your hard drive you can actually just go to the hard drive and transfer it over to the flash drive that'll probably be faster but um. I don't have this game on my hard drive, so, and if that's the case, which it probably is, uh, you go to back to your home, go to game details by pressing X, click install, and select your flash drive. If you select the hard drive, it's going to install to the hard drive, and then you're going to transfer it back over to the flash drive, which doesn't make a lot of sense, so just put on the flash drive. Alright, so I'm back. The installation's done. Once it's done, you can go back. And uh, if you just go over to your storage, go to your storage USB device, and you'll see that that's the only thing on there. The bigger the game, the longer that process is going to take. I did Halo 3, not Halo 3 Otis T, just playing Halo 3 earlier, and that was about five gigs so it took a little longer than Halo 3 OST did. Anyway, once that's process done you can go over, turn off your Xbox, uh, take the flash drive out, and you're gonna take this, plug it back in your computer. Once you're sitting back at your computer, you go you can go to this PC and you see there's your flash drive. And if you and when if you try to access it and you don't get this content folder, um, you did some you can try to go to view and uh, show hidden items, but if that doesn't work, then you probably did something wrong. I should have added this earlier. Don't try to format the USB with the Xbox itself. Do it in Windows, like I showed earlier, and uh, this should work. Uh, if it doesn't work, try another USB, I guess. Um, but anyway, you're going to go into that content folder, and there should be a, all these zeros and shit. Um, 
if you have multiple things, there's going to be multiple folders, and that's what X, WXPERS is for. Uh, is for if you have like multiple games on the flash drive, you could figure out which one was which. But uh, yeah. So then what you're going to do is, and but then once you, but if you only have one game on there, then it's just going to be that, and uh, there's going to be two subfolders in there. Uh, this is just content package. Usually the top one is going to have this folder, which is like all this garbage, and then dot data. And then that has even more stuff in there, but and then there's just this file right here. But what you do with with that is, is you go to your um, God to ISO, which it should have already downloaded. You go into here, change the output directory wherever you want it. I'm gonna put it in here with all my other. Uh, 360 games. Just to get in there. And then go to add, find the flash drive content, go to that same subfolder, and click on the one, the one that's just a file. Open. And go. It shouldn't take too long. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to stop the recording. Alright, once got to ISO is done doing this thing, and you have your ISO file, you're probably going to have to rename it, because that's going to be much a garbled mess, but uh, once you go into the folder it's in, and you see that it's about the same size as the size it showed on your Xbox for the game, you're probably good to go, and then you can rename it to the actual name of the game to make it easier on you. And then you can open Xenia, open the game, And if there's like any indication that's working, I can hear like the intro of the game. I get this black screen. This game doesn't even technically work, um, but uh, I want to try it anyway to see what happen. That's what happens. So, but if you have some indication that the game's working, you're probably good. So, yeah. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.